Well, holla, if you use a new therapist. Welcome to this wonderful, wacky, crazy, rewarding, awesome, bizarre profession. If you're a new therapist or counselor, you must watch this. All right, ladies and gents. So I am here today to talk about being a new therapist. And so my hair is just crazy. Bear with me. So I have three kind of things I want to go over. Um, tips, advice, uh, what I've learned as being a new therapist for you guys. So if you're new, if you're a therapist, if you're a counselor, if you're in the helping profession, um, please listen to these three because I think they're going to be helpful for you. So um, the first tip that I have, especially for therapists and counselors, is know that these first like year to two years are hard. And I don't say that like the, well, duh, Brittany, they're hard. Any new job is hard. Um, hard in that the first year for sure all of your cases and all of your clients are new and so they're at their heightened um, difficulty so when we have a whole bunch of brand new people that come in to see us they're all likely not doing well and in that same place at the same time so most of the time when people make therapy appointments, it's not because they're like, well, over the last year I've had some ups and downs and I'm in an up right now, but I want to prepare for the down. You know, it usually just doesn't happen like that. Usually it is more, um, I'm in a really bad down right now and I need some help. So that first year is like a full workload, a full, full list of clients that are at their kind of max of, um, or worst, um, of mental health. So just know that that first year as a therapist, clinician, um, psychologist, any of that stuff is really, really tough because of that. So after, you know, like a couple months to a year, some of your clients are doing well, some of them are not doing well, you have a mixture. So um, hold on for that mixture. Okay, the second tip I have is finding a way to let go of judgment. So I have struggled before with clients where I um, don't think they're making very good choices or um, their choices are hard to watch or um, I have thoughts of like, goodness, we've tried this before and we're going to try it again. Meh. No, the train wreck is about to happen. <laughs> don't let it happen. And I find that when I'm struggling to see a client, it's because I have too much judgment. So um, I literally, before each session, I like try to clear myself of the judgment from the last client and clear myself from the judgment that I had of this upcoming client last time I saw them. And so reminding myself that my job isn't to judge, my job is to love, my, jo my job is to walk alongside, my job is to encourage, my job is to sit through the tough stuff when somebody's making the same bad decision for the fifth time and to walk with them through that and say, hey, let's learn together. Because it's not my job to decide if the fifth time of doing the same thing is wrong for them or right for them. Not my job to judge. So literally for me, it is like spending just a minute or two thinking prior to going and grabbing the client of Brittany, your job is not to judge. Clear your judgment and literally fill this room and this environment with love before the person walks in. Okay. Um, and the last, the third tip that I have for you guys is um, to visualize letting everyone's stuff go. So I am a trauma therapist. That's one of the specializations that I have where um, people who have been through traumatic events, we rewrite their story. And there are some heinous, horrific, tough things for people to say and for me to hear. And, um, you know, there was this point in time where I was like, I'm giving up a part of my soul being a therapist. 
sure that's one way to look at it right or the other way is we are so lucky and so fortunate for people to trust us with their story um, but not allowing their story to sit in me or to sit with me um, or to be how I um, the things that I think about when I'm with my kids and things like that so um, I, I literally do exercises where I visualize letting their stuff go. And so those things that are sitting in my mind, usually they're the most heinous things, the most difficult things to hear. I literally visualize them on my brain. Like, I, I this is what I do, guys. I literally picture a brain, like what you would see if you Googled, like, a real-life brain. And I picture the words and the images that I have on that brain and I visualize them releasing into the air and disintegrating. That is one way that I visualize it. Another way that I visualize it is I literally like visualize like what you see, this, my head. <laughs> and I literally visualize them like going out into thin air and like me like, s like sending love, I call it. Like sending like love and healing with them and like to get them out. And so of course like sometimes I do that once and it like I'm still thinking about especially like the most, um, disturbing or the toughest things and so when I find myself like ruminating on them or thinking about them I do it again and do it again and do it again um and then remind myself lots of times that that's not my stuff to carry um it would it's my job to um hold on to it for just a period of time for that person and then to let it go so um those are just some tips that I have um, I have been um, a therapist for only three years and so I too am a new therapist and so I would love to hear other therapist tips and tricks on how they kind of um, let go of some of that stuff and then also any other like insightful stuff like how in the beginning of the video I had talked about um, the first year is tough um, not only because you're learning a new job but because like y you have everybody at a heightened um, mental health part of their life. And so if you guys haven't yet seen my video also on imposter syndrome, that like straight up plays into all of this. But so um, check out my video on imposter syndrome if that is something that you feel like um, is something that you've dealt with or something that um, might be um, in your wheelhouse or things that might be going on with you. So thanks for listening guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. Um, comment below if you have any questions or any um, advice for me. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.